Yo, what's up, YouTube? Jay Traveling here, and today I'm setting up my third flux node. It's setting up behind me. We'll go over to PC. I got a Dell Optiflex PC this time. Setting it up, I have it metered. We'll check that out and see what kind of wattage is pulling before I put it in its final home and see if it's worth getting this over to Chewy. They're about the same in price when I got, I got it refurbished from Dell, so let's check it out. So this is my Dell PC, and it is, oh, turn it around an optiplex 3060 now it does have an i5 in it uh and i can go over some specs later on if you like but it's got an i5 8th gen in it now this does meet the specs it's got 8 gigs of ram it did come with an m.2 and i replaced it with this ssd uh it does have a tray for the ssd which i'll try and get back on it later but when i was first trying to use this tray it wasn't securing all the way in it kept telling me i didn't have a boot device so I just got it in so we can install the Ubuntu and it is complete. So I will be rebooting it in a minute. We do have it metered right now and it's sitting at roughly nine watts right now. It was hitting up to 15. Now, if you remember my Chewy peaked at about 10 watts, this TDP on this CPU is about 25 watts where the one in the Chewy PC is 10 watt uh, TDP. You can see my uh, flash drive with Ubuntu on it and me just working on top of my mining rigs for now. I will close this up though in a minute. Uh, just to, I just wanted to get Ubuntu installed and get this kind of up and running. I did go into Zelcorn transfer to Flux already, so I have the node ready to go. So I'll reboot this, get it finish getting it set up, and get it up and running. So the first install, I had the wrong Ubuntu version. I had live server and I needed a desktop version. So I got it installing with the correct one onto the SSD and I got it inside the tray now. Uh, and it's in there pretty long. I will close it back up soon, but this is installing and then I'll get all the stuff for the actual node installed. And like I said, I already transferred the collateral. So hopefully it's pretty close to ready. Uh, and the install, we're hovering about 11 watts during the install. So once we get into Ubuntu, we'll check it out and see how many watts we're pulling. I'm, I'm estimating about 25-ish watts, anywhere between 20 and 25 watts. But I'm gonna let this finish up and then we'll get it all installed. Still at mid install, but let's do a check of the meter. And we're sitting about 24, 23 watts. So this is definitely pulling more power than my other chewy pcs these were running like 10 to 11 watts now these are pretty efficient i really like them and i'll probably get more of them for nodes but i wanted to try this one out so still not terrible better than running an actual pc but eventually i'll get this home right up here with these i'll get these wires pushed back get it up onto this shelf but right now, I just want to test it down here, like I said, and get it on my watt meter down there. So we'll let it finish up. I'm going to get Flux installed onto it, the Flux OS. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video and show you guys all that. I'm just going to show you it up and running and back in its home. And hopefully get, start getting it uh, the node online and getting some rewards. Ubuntu fully installed. We're getting a node going. Uh, I did move it because once it is finished, I don't want to have to unplug it and redo anything. So I moved it up to here, just between them pinned. It's on my 240 bank. Uh, it's plugged into my uh, switch, obviously. It'll probably sit here. I might lay it down eventually, but I wanted to get it set pretty much so I don't have to take it down once it's running and I can just let it go. So hopefully it runs smoothly. So I'll finish this install and like I, so before this was my first one if you guys remember when i got these two ubuntu was on it already uh the guy ran the nodes on it currently that i bought it from so i didn't have to install ubuntu so this is the first one i actually had to install ubuntu too so it's it wasn't too bad it was pretty straightforward uh some of the lines when i was in terminal were a little confusing at first because all that the docker stuff was installed on these already in the pseudo commands and you can see I bought this refurbished from Dell. Uh, I think I spent 175 total for this one. Now, I do have a Wi-Fi antenna for it somewhere, but it's not going to be on Wi-Fi, so I'll leave that somewhere else. 
I did spend a little extra on this because when I'm done and I shut this one off, uh, eventually when I get enough flux to start turning some of these nodes into uh, different ones, the the higher tier ones, uh, these are just the cumulus ones. I think that Stratus might be next. Uh, that's actually, I'll, I'll have to look later. The cumulus and then Nimbus will be next and then Stratus. So Stratus, you get 30% of the block. Uh, Nimbus gets 12.5 and then Cumulus gets 7.5. Now I can run up to 80 of these on, to, on one home network, so that's good. But I got it set up. Uh, this will be my third one. Hope I can get a fourth one rather quick. But eventually I will upgrade to a Nimbus. I don't know if I'll take a bunch offline. I might do only two and just save up more and more. But I'll probably take this one offline first and keep these two because they run less power and then i'll turn this one into like a home media center or something like put netflix and stuff on it mount it to a tv or use it for streaming sports things like that that's why i did spend an, a little extra to get this as opposed to these two and i'm using a little bit more power just because i'll have multi purposes for this later on down uh these could do the same thing but i'll probably just use this one to do it but let me finish getting this all set up get back in the terminal here and finish it up and get it up and running we passed all of our benchmarks with it, so it's up and running, and it's connected to the internet. I'm just covering up my IP address so you guys don't see it. But we are over here fully set up. I'll just disconnect the monitor, the keyboard, and mouse. Uh, but I am just waiting to launch the actual node. So it's just if we look at it on the computer here, it's it's just showing that it's running with limited functions currently but i'm still waiting for four more confirmations once i get those i'll start it this should change to green after a little while of running but i'm gonna leave it it's all set up finally got my third node going you know uh let me know if you guys are running some nodes how many you're running uh you know I plan on running more of them as I get the flux. I'm down. Obviously, I, I need to get a thousand more flux. I am mining it still currently, but you know, with a lot of my rigs off and the hash rate of flux going up, the block rewards are still there, but I'm not getting as much as I used to. But I'll keep mining it, keep getting that flux, keep building it up, and launch some more nodes. I'll keep you guys updated when I get more of them. Hopefully, I can get up to eight cumulus nodes and eventually go on to some better higher tier nodes but thanks for checking this video out make sure you hit that like button comment down below what you guys are doing if you're into the flux nodes or if you're mining flux or you know some people may be, lo be looking at different uh coins and using nodes for them but thanks for checking this out see you next time